Hello creative people! In this video I am going to be unboxing a box, an art box, from Evolve Artist. So if you're unfamiliar, Evolve Artist is an oil painting program. There's four blocks total for the foundations, um, the first part of the program. Well, it can also just be the program by itself unless you want to do the advanced blocks, but I am digressing. The point is this oil painting program not only teaches you how to paint from the basics, from literally zero, which is where I'm starting, it also sends you all the material you need. And that's what this box is. It includes, you're gonna see what's inside as I open this. So I got this box in the mail about a week, maybe less than a week after I first signed up. They're really fast and their customer support is excellent. So. Now we're opening the box, see what's inside. First thing you see is brown packaging material. Super exciting, but even more exciting is what's underneath the brown packaging material. <laughs> now I'm gonna rotate it to see if we get a better view so that this lid isn't in the way. All right, there, that should work. Remove the brown paper and here we go. All the goodies are inside, it's like Christmas. First things first, we have this small brown box of oil paints. So Evolve Artist, they partner with Old Holland, which is a very high quality paint making brand. And Old Holland creates for them these four tubes of gray paints that are unique to the Evolve Artist program. I don't think you can buy them anywhere else. There's two shadows and two lights. And these tubes are really heavy. They make up a good chunk of the weight of this box, which is about five or six pounds, I think. Now inside of this really interesting nest, paper nest, we have our linseed oil. So this is the oil that we're gonna be using to mix into the paints to make the paint consistency work better. And I'm gonna wrap that up and put it aside and see what else we have. So this is the glass eyedropper that we're gonna to use to mix the paints and the oils and unfortunately my eyedropper was broken in transit the tip got snapped off but I later contacted the support people and they were super nice and are sending another eyedropper to me as soon as they can but in the meantime let's remove the eyedropper and see what's next we have a paper ruler so I I think we're going to be using this in the block two assignment so put that aside for now and then we have a palette knife next we've got the paint brushes and these are also old holland brand i believe there's a number of different sizes then we have our um what is this the palette paper so instead of a palette they send us this reusable palette paper that we can use to mix our paints on. And it's a perfect gray color so that you can see the four different shades that you're gonna be using. And then now we've got the images that we're gonna be painting. So these are really high quality photographs that we're going to be tracing and painting and mimicking for the first 20 assignments, I think, in block one, yes. So we, there's a two, we've got two cubes here. We've got a cylinder. I think this may or may not be in the exact correct order. Cylinders and sphere and cube. So lots of simple shapes first. Some kind of vase with a cylinder on top because we need to get used to the basics. More cylinders and a, another kind of vase. A mushroom and a cone. This is all focused on um, it's all black and white, duct tape and a pitcher, apple on a stand with a ball, pear on a cylinder with a cone or something next to it, um, a pot, an apple in a cylinder, pyramid, pear on a stand, and a bird. This is one of the assignments I'm looking forward to because I like birds. Bowling pin, apple, and cylinder and a cat, this is another one I'm looking forward to because I also like cats, <laughs> and I also like rabbits, so that's another one I'm looking forward to. And this looks really cool, these black cats are so elegant. And then the final one is a pumpkin. I heard this one is the last, and that's it. Those are the assignments. So I guess it was in order. 
Anyways, underneath that, we have this very nicely shrink-wrapped checklist of things to watch out for as you're doing the assignments. So there's the block one checklist, and then underneath that there's block, well, block one assignment one and assignment two and so on. Then we have this tracing paper. So for the first assignment, we're going to be making squares. And as you can see, these are the squares that we're going to be tracing. And that also is very nicely shrink wrapped. And then underneath it, we have the tracing paper itself, charcoal paper, I think it's called. Oh wait, hold. First, there's this dowel, which is like a wooden knitting needle that we're going to be using for measuring in block two. Or maybe, yeah, I think it's block two. And then we have this charcoal paper, which um, I think only one side is usable, so you have to make sure you put the right side down when you're tracing. Then underneath that, we have these awesome canvas pads. So this is what we're going to actually be painting on, and I'm having some difficulty taking it out of the box because now we're getting deep into the box, and the box is just the right size. And I think we got three, three or four of these pads. Yeah, got to tilt the box to get those pads out. Okay, so these pads are all exactly the same. Putting it back in the box because one of the things that I learned while I was watching some of the class videos that Kevin recorded is you want to be very, very precise and accurate with everything you do. And I would say that includes the way that you treat your materials in the box. So after taking everything out to unbox, I want to put it all back in until I need to use it. So that is the Evolve Artist unboxing video. And I guess I'll just talk a little bit about why I'm doing this. To be honest, um, part of it, of course, is I want to develop art skills. But actually, what really sealed the deal for me was how strong this curriculum is. When I was looking up the Evolve Artist blog and website, podcasts, YouTube, looking at what previous students have done, you can see that they actually do get results. Students who follow this process really make it in the end. They get to a very, very high level. And for somebody like me who has really no art background, I, I dabbled in a little bit of color pencil. I have never touched oil paints before. The closest I came to painting was doing a little acrylic um, animal once or twice. And so for someone like me, I really need a lot of structure and somebody who knows what he's doing. And that's Kevin. He created this Evolve Artist program and designed it so that even if you have zero background in art, you can still get to a really high level, a professional level of quality skills. And as you can see, the materials themselves reflect that quality. He uses Old Holland, which is, um, I think it's like a several hundred year old company that has been painting or creating paints since before Van Gogh was even born, if I remember correctly. So the idea is everything should be the highest quality, the material, the instruction, and the student work. And that's it. If you want to follow me on the rest of my Evolve journey, make sure you check out the blog, and I'll try to keep posting on this channel as well. See you next time.